With NAT configured, my PBS can obtain external IP address of the network it is located and mark the data packet sent to the external network, enabling the remote site to resolve the return address. NAT often needs to be enabled when remotely interconnects my PBX in case one-way audio happens. There are three ways to configure NAT. The first way is to use static external IP. Fill in the external IP address. And the local network identification, which is a pair of IP address and subnet mask. The second way is to use domain name. In external host, fill in a dynamic domain name. External refresh interval sets the interval of DNS query. Next, fill in local network identification. When using domain, if DDNS needs to be set on my PBX instead of on router, refer to part 1 DDNS settings. The third way is to use STUN server. Click Enable STUN and enter the STUN address and STUN port. Next, fill in local network identification.